Hello world. Just thought I'd update you on the last couple of firings that I've done and show you a few of the highlights. Before I do that though I wanted to show you a couple of tile tests that I've done. This first one, if you can see that, is a salt solution. One part salt to two parts water. It hasn't worked very well but if I'd let the salt dissolve into the water more before I poured it over the tile I think it would have worked better. This one, if you can see this, I hope you can, was a lot more successful. It's made a really nice clear glaze. This is bicarbonate of soda. One part bicarb to one part water. In this case, just a teaspoon of each. But it's made a really nice thick clear glaze. I'd be interesting to try that some more. Uh, I'd like to hear from any of you who've done salt or soda firing before, especially to know what the dangers are, because obviously I'm only using my electric kiln, so I don't know if it's actually safe to fire lots of pots in it, but because I'm only using a solution rather than actually throwing the salt and the soda into it, it'd be interesting to know if it's actually safe to use, so any feedback you have as always will be gratefully received. I'll uh, show you the rest of the highlights now. Well, here we go, here are the cups that um, I took out of the kiln yesterday. These are all single firing again and as you can see they've all turned out pretty well. You see if I'm getting close on one of these and you can Let's see what I mean. I'll zoom in, there we go. All turned out quite nicely. I don't know if you can see on here, but my stampers come out fairly clearly on all of them as well, so that's quite nice. It makes a nice feature. And the glaze has worked. I fired all these at 11:20, which is why obviously the glaze has worked better and not broken down. So there you go, that's the mugs from that firing. This vase also went into the single firing. In this case I sprayed the glaze over the surface and on the inside. Uh, this was obviously carved away the clay to create the outside. The glaze is okay on the outside. It did have a tendency to speckle the white slip that I'd sprayed over it already. The effect's quite nice though. This is from the firing previous to the one I did yesterday. This is all that's left of the polar bear bars. The very large bowl that I'd made I popped in and it obviously wasn't dry enough and exploded. It literally fragmented. There was dust basically <laughs> left in a few large pieces. However, in the process it took out the, this vase and another nice vase that I've made as well. So that's a lesson to all of us I suppose. Uh, if you think a large object is dry, wait another week before you fire it. So there you go, live and learn. Here's another one from the previous firing. This is a good size bowl done with the copper glaze that I use. The lip of this, don't know if you can tell, um, had white slip on it. But the glaze has actually worked really quite nicely. So I'm pretty chuffed with that. Here are some more of those tea bars I threw um, with a little teapot that I did. Again with the same glaze as the previous one. And once again I think these have worked really nicely. They're very tiny. You can see the tiny things. Same with the teapot. The glazers run really nicely on that. So I'm pretty chuffed with them. Well here's that bowl of ours that you saw me working on in a previous clip. This I call a failure. Um, 
I hope when I upload this I have the photograph of it when it's been biscuit fired because I thought it looked a lot nicer after it being biscuit fired than it does after it's had the glaze on. The only issue was because I'd just sprayed the oxides over the surface they were quite loose and you could they would brush off or at least to an extent they would I did another vase like this which I burnished and the oxide set really well into it I'm wondering if next time I shouldn't add a little clay to the oxide mix see if that makes it more stable because I think unglazed the surface of this pot works really nicely and this one I don't know if you can see this I doubt it is another failure but again I hope I've got the picture of it when it's been biscuit fired up by the side and you can see the difference I thought this would turn out really nicely but it didn't and once again I don't think this is to do with the oxide as much as it is to do with the darkness of the clay when it's being fired it just obscures the drawing that's underneath but as I say you try these things to find out what the results will be don't you so there we go last but not least another bowl that I'm not very happy with I hope I'm going to have the photograph of it and it being biscuited again next to it and you'll see the difference. It looked really quite like a carved stone when it came out of the biscuiting. And the glazing actually spoilt it. But, as I said previously, that's why we try these things, isn't it? So, I hope you've enjoyed.